angels. <laughs> I am bringing you guys along on this fabulous, fabulous run this morning. It's going to be on the stairs. I haven't done a live in like three years. I don't even know if this is working. So came here on my bike. Guess where I am? I'm taking you along on this fabulous little journey. Whoever's joining me today, guess what day it is? It is 11, 11, 22. This is significant. Numbers mean something. The numbers created the universe. Ask Nikola Tesla. He talked about it. Guess where I am? It's been three years since I've been here. Santa Monica stairs. Where the heck are they? By the sun. I'm going to take you on them. I have people surrounding me, all my peeps. I have friends who came here on the stairs joining me the last 20 years. I've been doing these stairs since I was in high school, training for cross country and track. I have all these beautiful souls doing the same thing today. We are lifting ourselves. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, what we are doing right now is we're being tested in so many ways to gift ourselves beauty before others. And that has been a lifetime of conditioning. Existing to the fullest. Oh, we have another fellow, fellow influencer on there. <laughs> Talking to the peeps. So giving ourselves, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I have found myself in a situation that surprised me. My father needed my help. He was pretty self-sufficient, 86 years old, dementia. But he was doing his books. He was making his own food. He was getting around fine. He's very independent. Okay, we're gonna do the stairs, babies. Come on, let's go, we gotta run them. First, first two flights. Okay, very independent. And I thank you, thank you. So you sweet, fabulous. Good to see ya. I'm seeing familiar faces. It's been three years since I've been on these stairs. They're very special to me. COVID closed them down. But anyway, my dad, I was contacted by his neighbor saying his chair wasn't out on the porch. I said, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, he needed my help. And so I moved in and being a caretaker, it's so important to take care of yourself because there is just no way you can be there for anyone else if you're not taking care of yourself. So this is where I am with you guys. I just told daddy man, I'm off to do the stairs. And he said, okay, <laughs> he's gotten used to it because I've been doing this stuff for a week now. Hi, Angel, <sighs> taking care of myself <sighs> first. This is a gift we're giving ourselves. It is no one else is gonna give it to us. No one, not a significant other, not your parents, not your children. Ooh, that felt good. Let's take a breather. We're going to go hug a tree. The only one who can give you joy is you. I'm giving myself joy. I'm finding joy in food right now. I'm feeling limiting beliefs fall away, especially this week with the powerful energies of the moon and today's. 1111. 11. I'm sensitive to energy and I welcome, I welcome these energies because I feel they are helping us. Whatever our life looks like, it's created by us. 
we create our realities. So if you don't like what you see when you look out into the world, that's what's happening right now. Because we're going through such change within us, we're seeing a chaotic exterior, exterior world. Politics, religion, everything that divides the people. Polarity is coming up. 11, 11. I feel it's a face-off. It's a face-off within us of polar energies. So it's a conflict within us that we are slowly healing. And then it shows up in the world to reflect what we're healing. So here's my tree. You get to, you get to hug it with me. Isn't it beautiful? Looks like a limb has been sawed off. I see, you guys, I see metaphors in everything. I see little hearts, so this thing is working. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just pressed the button live. I've only done one other live in my life three years ago. Anyway, I see metaphors. So this limb that's just been completely cut off, that's us. That's us, you guys. We've been through so much in our lives, but the only way that we can heal. She loves my tree too. <laughs> the only way we can heal it is by embracing that wound. So the Japanese have a beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, Katsuki, I forget how to pronounce it. Come on, my beautiful Japanese people. Katsungi, something like that. But it is about broken ceramics, ceramic bowls, they, they put them back together with gold. So they celebrate the wounds. They celebrate these wounds with gold. We are the gold. Our wounds are golden. <laughs> They've made us who we are today. We grow in such a beautiful way from these wounds. And this tree continues to expand and share love to humanity, even at the hands of those who hurt her. That is us. You like those beautiful clouds today? I'm seeing a lot of chemtrails in the sky. And oh my gosh, you guys are gonna feel this beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. I haven't felt her in a few years. And, oh, she's gonna make me cry. I just saw a bunny lop across the street. I've never seen bunnies in this area. We're actually in Santa Monica Canyon. Look at this, you can see the ocean back there. <clears throat> this is a very special place. A bunny just rode by there ran by. <clears throat> so that tree, <laughs> you guys, I, f I am, I feel such connection with, with what is alive. I feel everything is alive. Everything is alive. Everything is working with us. Trees, especially I've been a nature girl since I was a little girl, barefoot in trees. That's where you'd find me climbing daily. And I'll tell you what, every generation, <clears throat> every generation has a job to do. It's the children who are the game changers, always. Now we carry our child inside of us. It's not separate. So we are healing that beautiful little child today in, in wonderful scenarios that are popping up for us. If we are blessed enough, <clears throat> We have our parents still with us. Even if they're not with us any longer, you can feel them on the other side. No matter what your belief systems are, you have support. <laughs> you have support. Whether you're showing up for yourself or you feel support from beyond, we're never alone. And we have each other. How cool that we are alive <laughs> at this time on the planet 
when we have technology like this, we're just a button push away, baby. If you feel yourself going under, please do not hesitate to reach out. There are so many of us here who love you, absolutely love you, and see your value. Absolutely see your value. But the most important thing, which is what I feel is happening right now, is that we find value within. No one else is going to value us until we value ourselves. And that's what my little post was about yesterday. The golden Buddha. The golden Buddha, everyone is searching outside themselves for treasure and gold and what have you. I feel a very big connection to gold, but not until this year fully did I realize that the gold that I'm feeling is within me. I am the gold. And it's really interesting that my father is mirroring what I'm healing. Because yesterday I was talking about a treasure chest and he looks at me, he says, you're the treasure. <laughs> that came out of his mouth. I said, dad, you are so right. You are so right. I am the treasure and you are the treasure. We're all the treasure, what we've been searching for our whole lives. And this is what I feel is happening right now. I feel we are finding that value and our relationships will start to reflect that. I feel some special relationships coming into fruition soon, whenever. It doesn't matter when it happens. First of all, it's going to be the relationship with ourselves and today you guys and whoever's on this right now you get to see that 1111 it's a portal it is launching us into this next stage it is divine union within it is the left side is feminine right side is masculine but then switch it for the brain hemispheres, right? How beautiful is that, that it gets to flip? We get to experience both sides. And that's all part of the polarity, the polarity that we're experiencing in the world through politics, beautiful politics. It, they're actually showing us what needs healing. And I feel that whatever side, if you buy into the separation, if you buy into the division, it doesn't matter which side you are on. It's the same thing. We're all one, but not until we acknowledge that there's no separation, do we heal it. <clears throat> so I had a beautiful hour long conversation with my son the other day. We were talking about this. He's taking philosophy and it's one of his favorite classes. And that's my, one of my favorite topics. We were talking about the horrors of war. He is studying All Quiet on the Western Front. I never read the book, never saw the movie. Uh, I'm not into watching war because I, I feel it. Here, let's do another set. Let's do another set. Uh, I don't need the reminder of war. We've been through so much of it uh, at the hands of humanity pressing the button. Time to go to war. <laughs> Whatever the motivation is for war, uh, that's the darkness, the depths of humanity that we are in the middle of healing right now. So my son Dimitri was telling me about his, his favorite scene that moved him to tears. And that was when the main character, Paul, dove into a bomb crater to escape gunfire. Then all of a sudden, an enemy fell in with him. He took his knife and he stabbed him repeatedly because the conditioning set in. It was fight or flight. And he was programmed to think this person worrying the specific what enemy uniform had to die. 
So multiple stab wounds. And then an epiphany hit him that whatever he did to another, he was doing to himself. He was killing himself. And he had this overwhelming feeling of survival and then compassion. And so he started attending to the wounds of his enemy, which were only his own wounds. It was a beautiful metaphor. And to know that my, I, to know that my son was moved to tears by that means the world to me. This is, this is our next generation, you guys. They are, they're here to heal the planet, literally. It's absolutely magnificent what's happening. We are seeing one another. Okay, guess what? Those who are on, I gotta tell you what just happened. I've been doing these stairs for 20 years. I have friends that go back that far. I have a beautiful friend. I won't say his name yet. I just caught him before he left. He said, Nicole, you're not gonna believe the news. He said, I haven't seen you in forever. Where have you been in the world? I tried to follow you on Facebook and never know where you are. I said, I know it's hard to keep up with me. He said, I had this big audition, big audition. I won't go into detail, but it has everything to do with what I experienced last week with my dad's neighbor who's entrenched in Catholicism, the programming, the conditioning, the separation of the people. This movie that my beautiful friend, I know he's gonna get it. I know he's gonna get this role and it's gonna be shot in Italy. I feel I'm going to Italy also. And hi there. And good, thank you, my fireman buddy. He is going to Italy and gonna nail this role because he's gonna help shift religion one of the biggest, Catholicism, from the inside out. There are so many systems, and I talk about this a lot, there are so many systems that need revamping. It's the out of balance masculine. There's plenty of uh, examples of the out of balance feminine. So I feel feminism was the out of balance feminine. And it's okay if you guys chime in here defending that. There's, we really don't have anything to defend when we're out of balance. As we climb into balance, so the women who were the feminists, who were taking action and actually saying some pretty nasty things about men because they were wounded, they were hurt. They were hurt that they weren't being seen and acknowledged and valued in the workplace. They were not earning the same amount of money. They were pissed. <laughs> I get that. I get that. But the only way to heal that is by starting to see the value within. And as, you, as we start to balance both sides, the masculine and the feminine, we're going to start seeing our world mirror it back to us. We'll be valued in the workplace. We'll be valued in our homes. We'll be valued in relationships. All because we started to value ourselves. And like this guy, Paul, in All Quiet on the Western Front, we start seeing one another as ourselves. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful souls. Even if they're going through pain. I feel people's pain. And people who experience a chaotic life, a lot of drama in their life, and they like to point their fingers at everybody else. Look what this person did to me over and over and over the same story. Look what this person did to me. Guess what, baby? You did it to yourself. So whether we, we don't create strong enough boundaries to let these people go, <laughs> the people who are causing the drama that are just uh, living off of your energy that's chaotic within you, and they're mirroring it back to you what needs healing. Slowly, people are going to start to wake up to 
accountability and that it's their responsibility to heal their relationships and to leave when it's no longer serving their joy. It's okay if you leave another. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, you don't owe them happiness. They owe themselves their own happiness. And if you stay in a relationship longer uh, than where you find joy in it yourself, ask yourself why. Why are you staying in it? I know we're coming out of we're coming out of old chapters of uh, bonds between ourselves and others, marriage. Isn't it interesting that it's sanctified by the state? Why? <laughs> Why does the government get involved in our personal business? That makes zero sense to me. Anyway, I feel that we are doing such beautiful work. Sweet angels. I am so proud of how we are expanding right now. It is such a beautiful thing to witness. And we're here for one another. So the more that we can express love to one another and to ourselves like this, <laughs> the higher we're going to climb. You guys, I want to thank you for joining me on 1111. You are helping make this day monumental. It's a big day. And I'm already seeing it unfold in ways I had not imagined. So I'm wishing you all just a beautiful life. And if you find yourself in difficulty, know that the only way to the other side is through it. We are the phoenixes rising and the only way we're going to rise as high as we wanna to go to make our dreams come true is by embracing these difficulties and finding the lesson, finding the beauty, finding ourselves in it. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to turn this thing off. I don't even have my glasses. Does that say finish at the bottom? I love you guys.